Aha eye gana info TV so en sama e chwe guwa fo from maso ni akasi eme mga na hanu mse non. Ene bwabwa ni nina no ni edi ababe tu beja srede edi bi atanya dofo. Ene ya shefo ni nina mse gana info de yenu yutu mra ni ya chire esie. En sama e chwe ndeno enu ni ya shemu nukure no ni edi ababe damwa. Na ene particular video bi e jena huntere ha ewo media ne so yinti minfa nkame mu. Enu ti kame huwe. Ne nina mfiye ni gongko shadye enfa mbra niye ba jababi chwe. Go check the video check the context before you speak on your show and that is what we are all expecting you people sitting on radio and tv to do so black rasta to come and sit on radio to lie yeah that's what i'm going to say to lie about something that you should know better you can read you can in fact if you can't you, you if you did not even get access to the video you have you can get access to the text so why do you come sit on tv as somebody people respect to lie. No, we try to to John Mahama. So said John Mahama said, or a dead good. John Mahama didn't say that. John Mahama never stood to tell the youth of Ghana, say, on your magician to create jobs. He never said that. The moment you do that, then you are aligning yourself with Obiti Sechem, I won't to me, or won't to me radio. They are not intellectually sound to even speak on radio. And I don't, I'm not saying that is how low your intelligence is. But I expect you to do better. Because John Mahama never in his life as a president, when engineer platform Biaswa and Kanta say, oh no, he is not a magician to create jobs. No. John Mahama was speaking to the youth that there are job opportunities out there that his government are, is creating. There are hospitals they are, they are building. They are doing, they are, they are, they are uh, 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 the thing they just changed into NAEP. John Mahama started it. The, the, the how do they call it? Uh, 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 entrepreneurial something something there were so many things that your Muhammad administration they were putting together and he was telling the youth to take advantage of that because the government cannot come home and give you money or put money in your pocket john mahama was encouraging the youth to look out look for the opportunities and grab it and john mahama did never never john mahama and jenna baby and kada say he is not john mahama cannot sit in the jubilee house and say come to my office i'm giving you a job the jobs are there. Look for them. And that is what he was telling the youth, politely. So you sit on radio and you make it look like, if you want to make your point, Black Rasta, you can make your point. But don't try to step on people's credibility to become relevant. That is my problem with some of you people. And I respect you a lot. I respect your trade. I respect the, 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 the job you do. The respect you have for other people. But do not deliberately. Because the reason I'm saying deliberately is because you can read and write. Sebio, Sebio, with all due respect, you are not foolish like Chema Wood to me. With all due respect, you are not foolish like Abronye. You are not stupid like uh, 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 Ernesto Usu Bempa. You are not stupid like uh, Richard Ahiagba. You are not a political dog. You are a journalist, renowned journalist. People know. And you have taught in classes. So you should at least spend a minute to learn, to read, to research before you spill that out there. Mumi enjoy that kind of trying to step on people to become relevant in the system. That is not going to help anybody. It is not. Because Adia Jomahama Ankano, you cannot put those words in his mouth. You people are all struggling. I am struggling. We are all struggling in Ghana because of you people propagating and uh, 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 propaganda. Go back. And I, I, I entreat you to go find the video, play it on your show, and then apologize to Jomahama and the NDC, Black Rasta. You need to do that. Go there, find the video. It is on YouTube. It is on social media. Go and find the video. Play every single thing that John Mahama said. And if John Mahama categorically insulted the youth or insulted Ghanaians that he is not a magician, and you, I know, you know better. You have read wider than myself. You explain the video and the statement of John Mahama to Ghanaians and now narrate it as John Mahama insulted the people of Ghana. The journalism you guys are doing, sitting on radio and tarnishing the image of people, when we do the same to you people, you will not like it. You, you guys are not kids. We are struggling today because we did not defend truth. We all helped for lies to take over. That is why today in Ghana, we have these fools leading us. Now, we have been able to analyze the system to understand we need to fight bad news. We need to fight fake news. We need to fight these kind of things. This is not a time for you people to be trying to please your egos and making it look like I still want to be relevant and I have to destroy somebody to be relevant. That is wrong. 
So with all due respect to Black Rasta, I'm urging you. I'm respectfully telling you this. When you come on your show, play that video. Play that video to Ghanaians. And then let Ghanaians understand what John Mahama actually said on that day. So that the Ghanaian will understand whether you are telling the truth or you are misleading the people. Let us stop this kind of cheap journalism and radio broadcasting or whatever you guys call it. This is the exact statement John Mahama made. And let me read it to Black Rasta tomorrow. You have the responsibility. It is that you need to apologize to John Mahama. You have to. Because when I sit here or when I go on the, on, on the net and I see people say anything about you which is bad and I can't sit here to condone without fact-checking you, especially having your phone number and not calling you to ask, you will be mad at me. So why do you want to do that to other people? According to President Mahama, this is the exact statement from John Mahama. You people should stop this. You Northerners, majority of you are your own enemies. You Northerners. You think you know too much. You think you can, you can, you can always make your brothers feel bad because maybe they did not agree with you or disagree with you on something. That's not how we build a nation. These are the words of John Mahama. And I can play Black Rasta's video. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Mr. S, you can pull that video for me first. I'll play that video and then I will read the statement to you so that the jandam can be killed. Then we move forward because enough of this. We are tired of this throwing out fake news and maligning people and distorting facts. Let's stop this. Black Rasta, I respect you. I have your phone number and any single day I'll give you that respect. But what you did... It's against the job you do. It's against the ethics. It makes you look bad. The best thing, if you're an honorable man, you need to come on your show and apologize to Ghanaians, your listeners in the first place. Tell them that you didn't do your research. Maybe you were you were you were you were you were, you, you, you were too excited, and that let them know you are not you are not a kid, Black Rasta. You are an adult, and I can sit here and say to Ghanaians and say, what you do. You don't do anything for any political party. For that, I can say it. You are vocal. You want to express your views. But in, the, in that process, do not distort facts. I will not sit here and say, Black Rasta, where's for the NPP? Black Rasta, where's for the NDC? I'll never say that because we have all followed you. You have tried to do your job diligently. Stay neutral, as you people call it. But try not to distort facts. Try not to distort facts. That is the most important thing. And that is something that the NPP did. That is what the NPP did in opposition. They basically changed every single statement John Mahama made when he was in power. And that is why I'm about to tell you guys something. Ghana Web has become another fake news site. You have to be very careful about Ghana Web because what the Ghana Web is doing now is they are putting captions out there that does not correlate with the stories they put out there now the npp owns ghana web and it has become another avenue where fake avenue where fake news bad publicity bad publication about people misquoting people directing people distorting facts ghana web has become another avenue where this government is using to destroy lives and destroy this nation the moment you see a caption from ghana web you have to quickly click on the story and read it because everything they put out there 99 percent of it it is not connected to the headline they give it because now it has become a business venture where they just need to lie for people to watch or read what they put out there. So, with all due respect, before you follow Ghana Web, Peace FM, you need to make sure you read the story. And yes, sir, Obiba Mwako can't send me any sawka. And yes, sir, Obiba Mwako make a decision. Yeah, sad decision. It will destroy you forever. What's this? I need the Black Rasta read, uh, v, uh, video because before I read what. John Mahama said exactly. It's very, very important. And um, if the ghost team, uh, you guys can send me uh, 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 the video. I know it wasn't part of um, that. It wasn't part of our editorial. So if you guys can pull the video for me, I'm in a quick, I'm in because it's very important that 
It's very important that we clear the air on these things. 60 days to elections. There are so many ways people would like to distort the system, distort facts, and we are supposed to stop it, especially Ghana Web. In Tuesday, this is the story they published. Time and I John Mahama what power no. Ghana Web. You see? And I'm gonna pick a story no every daily guide. This is 2016. November 2016. Now I can less than a month. And uh, yes, be a captured man. I am not a magician. Muhammad tells unemployed graduates. And no, I tell me the cross and Timim the Nam Ghana say Muhammad say on your magician. We don't do this in Ghana. And Delhi Guide belongs to Freddie Blay. So um, Freddie Blay is the former chairman of the NPP. Freddie Blay, Mono, that is what they have thrived on for years. They have nothing better to their name. It is all about distorting facts and lying. In the Usher 2016, uh, this is what they did in 2016. They moved the words from Daily Guide and then Ghana Web Mo, they collaborated and destroyed Muhammad's statements. I'm going to take a break. I'll play the video for all of us to listen and then we can continue. I'll be back after this short break. We've always sung the first stanza of our national anthem, which asks for God's blessing on our homeland, Ghana. And it enjoins us to resist oppressors' rule. Many have not taken the many have not taken the time to observe the second stanza of our national anthem, and the lyrics bear reflection. It says, "Hail to thy name, O Ghana! To thee we make our solemn vow, steadfast to build together a nation strong in unity." With our gifts of mind and strength of arm, whether night or day, in mist or storm, in every need, whatever the call may be, to serve the Ghana now and forevermore. This stanza calls for a nation strong in unity and enjoins us with our gift of mind and strength of arm to serve our motherland Ghana now and forevermore. the first stanza of our national anthem, which asks for God's blessing on our homeland, Ghana. And it enjoins us to resist oppressors' rule. Many have not taken the time to observe the second stanza of our national anthem, and the lyrics bear reflection. It says, Hail to thy name, O Ghana. To thee we make our solemn vow, steadfast to build together a nation strong in unity, with our gifts of mind and strength of arm, whether night or day, in mist or storm, in every need, whatever the call may be, to serve the Ghana now and forevermore. This stanza calls for a nation strong in unity and enjoins us with our gift of mind and strength of arm to serve our motherland Ghana now and forevermore. The NPP cannot be underestimated. You know it, I know it. They've been in existence for a long time and have been changing their names up till this day. The nature of who they are. Listen. The nature of who they are, what they are, where they've come from, is something they are happy with, and they will be there for a long time. Let's not mimic their behavior. Let us reach into the principles and the values that came, that emerged out of the circumstances that gave birth to us. And if we can hold onto those principles and those values, we will move way into the future and no one can ever defeat us. <laughs> It 
Kachi, but it's a young man. Now, say, you Nayaka, new patriotic party programs are your dear Guhono, a bed to Babino, your background go for your man on no mother yet to my organa. Amania Mofamuno, Mia Minim, Duduana Majumana Gu, Mia Minim, Duduana Majumano Aedai, a Gu, Sasha will be a well, what you mano, and she will hear and now photo. Yen, you see. A business for our bar and our bar. And they say, Mwa, Sabio, Munumano, and Sieno. The news I didn't wear a Cayano. And she said, I did run about Bano. They say, Yanina, I find a Mubaba, Yajuma, Ebu Agana. The economy is going to grow and grow and grow, and we will have jobs and jobs and jobs. This is the economy of Nana, Adudankwa, Akufuado, and the MPP. The future. All right, so what we were discussing, the uh, or what I'm I'm doing now, no? it was it's a thorough discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have it on our editorial, yeah, during our editorial meeting. And it's something we need to talk about. From now on, there's going to be a lot of uh, fake news, jandama, some people, some knowing and others not knowing. Um, they are going to throw in a system. And it's all because they don't have anything against John Mahama. And I'm not saying, sir, Black Rasta deal winning was deliberate. That's why I'm giving him the respect to come back and retract and apologize to the NDC and apologize to John Mahama because that's how journalism is done. Now, let's listen to Black Rasta, not a VFM fuel. Terrorists will remain one of the sins of John Dramani Mahama. I am not a magician to create jobs for the youth. He said it. It shocked me. It pierced my heart like a sharp razor straight against the jugular vein. I am like the dead goat. In other words, I have the dead goat syndrome. When you wave a knife, left, right, and center in front of me, I don't see it, let alone feel it. Another sin of John Dramani Mahama was in power. They say power corrupts absolutely. Absolute power, yes, corrupts absolutely. My brother, when Mahama said these things, some of us were so shocked. The soft-spoken, humble Mahama said some of these things. That was why we sent him where he belonged, opposition. Mahama went into opposition. My brother, my sister. These are words of Black Rasta. And Black Rasta, I know, was referring to this. Osakura Kofeda, Ewa Kata Jo Mahama, said on your dead goods. I was already a sort of in Nasma Dawakos Nana, where dear Wasuma, video no and no any chegu ya in your dear Nicoco Shebi, a day a bayam, would you say what you are saying to beat me at Chawajin, a day a far home, a dear Mamma Nebe Chawajin, Mamma Commons section or nothing so. A share video no, and my wound may be and sir into me and cabin while like a day a mammy bois, and major man so it to me a tomb for me dean, and an equia could do sick up and a mission Sabrina being a Mosema Daje, Namoshegana in Mekram.